What's up guys, it's Blake with Y2K. I've got a really cool video planned today. My buddy Quang, um, who I've known since I was about 16 years old, he's really big into Japanese cars and currently has a really awesome NSX. I think it's probably one of the few in the world that um, are spec'd out this way, so I'm really excited to go check it out. We're gonna take the Diablo. I just added a quart of oil to it um, and it's ready to roll. So let's head over to Quang's. construction right now is really really bad in Destin. They're actually doing a three lane widening um, because there's so many people vacationing here now that we literally can't fit them all on the road. Um, so it's not the best conditions for driving the car but regardless it's a beautiful day and uh, we're going to have some fun once we get to Quang's house driving the NSX. So many red lights on the way to Quang's. Very nice. All right, guys, we are pulling up to Quang's. The NSX is looking incredible. What's up, Quang? What's up, man? How Long time no see. Yeah, doing good. <laughs> Always doing good. And uh, we're here to see your prized possession here. Yep. That you almost sold and I talked to you out of. It was pretty easy to talk to you out of that. My baby. Yep. Uh, it's a 93 NSX. O2 conversion, JGTC style with a root case body kit. Uh, and control wide body. And, uh, Sorcery rear wing. Yeah, let me check this out. And this snorkel you said was like super hard to find? Yeah, that's a super rare item. Yeah. Uh, root case makes it. And the wheels are... These said, wheels wet? are actual uh, Wed Sports TC105Ns. Okay. They're the actual ones that came off of the Celica GT300 race car from uh, JGTC. Oh, that's freaking so, dope. Yeah, yeah, they're actually really, really rare wheels. And you're just running some hand cook R compounds or yeah. uh, something like that. Yeah. R compounds. But around back here, there's a, a Deflow diffuser. This is a one off, actually made custom for just this car. And a titanium straight pipe exhaust. Right. Thing's pretty loud. It sells, sounds like a fun <laughs> car. And yeah. the Jap 90s tag, of course. Yeah, of course. It's yeah. beautiful. And on the inside, I know you got the uh, Brides, right? Yeah, those are Bride Zeta 3s. Uh, are these Kevlar or no, carbon? No, they're okay. not. They're actually just the uh, fiberglass. And then the steering wheel is a uh, personal, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, personal yeah. steering wheel. And uh, shift knob is aftermarket? No, it's the uh, or... Japanese Type S shift, okay. shift knob with the uh, NSXR yeah. shift boot. And what mirrors are these? Those are Craftsware. Okay. Yeah, those are super cool. Yeah, this wide body is like nuts. This is actually a full carbon fiber kit. It's just painted over. So it's probably a lot lighter than stock, I would think, maybe? Um, they were aluminum, yeah, right? Yeah, they were aluminum, so you, know, you don't know. Yeah. Those are pretty light by themselves. And as far as engine and suspension? Yeah, you, suspension is KW V3s. Okay. And uh, it's got a bunch of other components from Science of Speed. Mm -hmm. And the uh, engine is pretty much the basic bolt-ons with a mild tune. Okay. It's got a... Uh, Headers, exhaust intake, and uh, RDX right. injectors. Okay. So probably makes maybe like 300 of the wheels, maybe yeah, something like maybe. that. Maybe mm -hmm. that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it feels quick for what it yeah. is. Yeah. 
And you, this is your second one, so the first one was was not too crazy, I remember. Yeah, the first uh, one was wide body as well, but you know, yeah. it, was, yeah, it was what it was. It had a, didn't it have like racing heart wheels on it? Yeah, it did. I think. It actually had a, yeah. CT35. I'll have to try and, if you find a picture of it, I'll put it in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually have one picture that's yeah. like pretty blurry. So, Quang, why do you prefer the NSX? I know you've had a few Japanese cars like FD and stuff like that, but you keep yeah. going back to this for some reason. So, Well, this to me was the epitome of all supercars back in the 90s, really. I mean, besides the Diablo and things like that. Yeah. But for Japanese cars, that was somewhat obtainable, I guess. Uh, I grew up liking all the Japanese cars when I was 14 or 15. Uh, that's when these, these cars first started coming out and everybody wanted them and they were just a little bit out of reach but yeah almost there for you to my first car was a a 94 twin turbo rx7 and yeah i just went on from there i've bought a few rx7 since and uh, this is my second nsx uh, my brother-in-law had a royal sapphire blue purple on uh, supra and that's super rare nowadays as everybody else knows but back then, we just happened to get one. It was crazy. I think there's only one out of 20 or something like that. But uh, yeah, our, our love just kept going and going. It hasn't stopped. So all the old ones, are just, that's where my heart is, really. And I'm, I'm guessing you've probably driven some newer stuff. What is it that you really prefer, I guess, on these older cars versus uh, what's like maybe like the new NSX or something I don't like know. that? I'm 41 years old now, and I guess I just can't let go of the old stuff, the new stuff. I mean, it's all, they got all the toys and all that, but it just doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I'm guessing you're a manual transmission guy, too. Of course. Yep, yep. And straight line stuff to you is not the, I know it's probably not the most important. No. Whenever you talk about what you prefer, not at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm probably I think more balance. I mean, my new, favorite new car right now, I, I would probably say is the Miata, and it's probably the slowest thing out there right now. So that that says a lot for what I think about. Do you like the Targa? Car. Is that your favorite one, or just this Roadster? Yeah, they're both. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they just bumped the power up on those to 200 now, so it should be a little sportier. So guys, I brought um, the Diablo over to Quang's. He hasn't seen it yet. Um, I talked about this car for maybe like two years on and off with Quang. And uh, I was like, I'm going to get one one day. So uh, I finally brought it over here to show him. And Quang, what, uh, this is your first time. Is this your first time seeing one in person? I've seen um, a few in person. Um, this is the first one in a long, long time. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> and, uh, this actual car was, I mean, during my whole 90s thing with the Japanese cars, I still had this on my poster. Yeah, I think we both did. Yeah. Did you get your poster from the book fair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I think I got mine from the book fair. I was talking to Joe the other day about book fairs and stuff. Oh my God, this, this thing seriously takes you back. Yeah, we're going to go, we're going to give Quang a ride and see uh, what he thinks. He, fi he can finally... Uh, like me riding, riding one of these, because when I bought this car, I had never driven one, really. I'd driven a, a newer one, but nothing like this with the, there's no power steering, no ABS, kind of like, like Quang's car. Does your car have ABS? I don't... No, it does have ABS. Yeah, but no power steering. But no power steering so. Yeah, one, one time Quang lowered his car even more than it is right now, and I drove it, and it was like the tires were rubbing everywhere, and he was laughing at me, because I was having to do a U-turn. <laughs> Holy crap, this car sounds like a real JGTC car.
here, that car, I can't believe what it sounds like. That is like pole freaking position. All right, guys, well, Quang and me are both pretty uh, hot. Both the ACs on the car don't seem to work right now. <laughs> but uh, we appreciate Quang uh, putting his car on the channel today, Quang. So appreciate you uh, bringing it on here and letting us check it out. Oh, you're welcome, man. Uh, thanks for bringing the Diablo by. That thing is amazing. Yeah, we're getting ready to go for a ride in that. So that'll be fun. But uh, anyways, this is Quang. He's an NSX connoisseur. He loves Japanese cars, all Y2K cars. And we're happy to have him on the episode today. All right, thanks, Quang. I'll see you guys. Well guys, we had a super dope time over here with Quang. He's uh, been one of my friends since I was maybe like 16 years old. His brother ran a shop called MPH back in the day. They did a lot of SR swaps and um, you know all kinds of Japanese stuff over there. I had RSX, um, you know, like I've said earlier in my video that they used to work on too. So it's always good to hang out with Quang. He doesn't live too far away from me. So whenever I can come over here and hang out, I always uh, make a priority to come check out the car. Finally got it on video. So we had a really good time. Hope you enjoyed today's video on Y2K and we'll see you guys next video. Hey.